Good luck tonight, George, darling. We're all counting on you. Of course, you're a little too young for the party. Shorter than ever. So we'll cut all the lines about you bumping your head on the ceiling. Oh, and don't forget, when I cough three times, that's your cue to unzip the back of my dress and then I'll slap you. We changed it from last night. Wait, please. What play are we doing exactly? What? What is the play? She's just like Lady Bendel, 
and that she has several chins and one blue eye and one brown eye and a third eye in the center of the forehead. Wait. Yes, I think so. Wait just like that too. I bet you were just about to tell me about how you traveled around the world. Yes, I was. I traveled around the world. Oh. 
I choose. I'm sorry, what was your name? Amanda. I choose Amanda. I think that's what he doesn't think. Very well. I can accept this speak gracefully. And I don't think I will send this letter to your mother because she has a loud voice and an overbearing manner, and I don't like her taking the time. So I hope, Elliot, that when you find me hanging upon the altar library channel with my eyes all bald out and my tongue hanging out, that you will be very, very sorry. Goodbye. <coughs> what a dreadful sport she is. Poor Sutherland. She's going to hang herself. Some women should be hung regularly, like tapestry. <laughs> or chairs. Whose yacht do you think that is? The Duke of Westminster. I beg, you mention that time it was on me. <laughs> and Father, I'm sorry. I love it badly. Uh, uh, inhale your cigarette, Ash.
sometimes people have soliloquies in Shakespeare. Uh, let's just wait for a moment more and uh, maybe someone will come. Thank you. 
a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. It is a far, far better place I go to than I have ever been before. A, B, C, H, I, J, K, L. Oh, good. Are you Ophelia? Get me to another. Get in. Oh, okay. This must be one of those modern hamlets. <laughs> I just want to wake up. Oh, don't deny that, Father. 
just to spare our feelings. Mother and I are willing to have you there if it's a question of principle. The first batch of custard didn't come out all that well, folks. This is the second batch, but it is a piece of herring. Oh, shut up about your custard, will you? I don't think the Pope is at fault, but I know of. I think he's a normal man with normal capabilities who wears gold slippers. I thought about joining the monastery when I was younger, but I didn't. Oh, Ivan, I was having such a pleasant dream, Willie. Go ahead, let him cut your head off. It will be a nice change of pace. That blade looks very real to me. I want to wake up now. Or change place. I wonder whose yacht that is out there. No, thank you. A horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Sir Thomas More, you have been found guilty of high treason and the punishment court is you be taken to Tower of London and thence to the place of execution. And then your head shall be stricken from your body and may God and mercy on your soul. All this talk about God. Alright, I'm sorry I didn't join the monastery. Maybe I should have. And I'm sorry I giggled during mass in third grade. But I see no reason to be killed for it. Nothing to be done really. That's what I found so wonderful. No! Do I understand you right? You wish to reverse your previous title on King Harry's marriage to Anne and to deny the Bishop of Rome? Yes, yes, God, yes! I could care less. Let him marry eight wives. That's a terrible legacy of cowardice for Sir Thomas More to leave behind. I don't care! I'm going to keep what you just said. I'd cut your head off anyway. And then we will all pretend that you went to that nobly. The church needs its saints and the school children have got to have the heroes to look up to. Don't you agree? I agree. I know I need some awesome captain. Yes, yes, God, yes. I can feel myself waking up now. The covers have fallen off the bed and I'm cold and I'm going to reach down so that I can pick them up again. Sir Thomas, prepare to meet your death. Be quiet, I'm about to wake up. Sir Thomas, prepare to meet your death. I'm awake. No, I'm not. <laughs> Sir Thomas More, prepare to meet your death. Lying, lying. You turn to the execution and say, friend, be not afraid of your office. You send me to God. I don't like that line. Give me another. There's a line in the script, George. Say it. I don't want to. Say it. Friend, be not afraid of your office. You send me. Extraordinary how potent music can be. That's not the line, George. Women should be struck regularly, like gongs. <laughs> right. They say you can never dream your own death. So I suppose I wake up just as soon as he starts to bring the blade down. Perhaps I should just get it over with. Say the proper line, George. Uh, friend, uh, be not afraid of your office. Goodbye, Millie. Goodbye, Hannah. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Sir Thomas. You send me to God. Behold, the head of Sir Thomas More. Oh, Billy, I wish I weren't blind and could see that. Oh, well, no matter. It's still being another happy day. Pause, smile, pause. You don't know? <laughs>